Hooked up. Let me have one or two other people and then we'll quit. Anybody want to try? Yeah. Let me get you a little bit more line out there. You're John? Lewis. Lewis. I missed my chance last year. I was too shy. <laughs> my wife won't let me do it. Do it without your hole. Don it. What you Luke. Luke. Luke is Luke's been casting this line with it. He's making his double haul make his cast go faster over a longer distance. As soon as I took the double haul out, he was crippled. Try it again your way. Okay. Now put your haul into it. So what Luke has never done is learn to cast is never to stroke properly. So, and this is the way with most double haulers, they just use a haul to make the thing go further over a bunch of mistakes. Let's try this once, Luke. What I want you to do is, and I'll do it here, watch the tip of the rod. Uh -huh. Just throw at the tip of the rod and stop. Uh -huh. I'm gonna put a little bit so it don't hit up. Throw at the tip of the rod. Let me do it with you once and you look. You gotta watch the end of the rod. Forget that hand. Give me a little bit of cork. Now, look at the tip. Stop. Now let me do it. Tip and throw it low to the grass. Stop. Each time. Okay. Don't try to cast. Just try to throw the tip at the end of the rod. Now, is the thumb behind the cork? That's not his yeah. target. His target is there, so he wants his thumb behind the rod handle from the... Look how much better it's going over there. See the difference? Now, it could be better if you didn't raise your damn elbow, so <laughs> you ain't going to this time. <clears throat> okay, now, just make it care. Look at the loop. As soon as I kept the elbow in, it's not staying in one place. It can move. See the loops? Now do it in the air. Keep going, false cast. Now it's going to tail. Go back a little further. Now you're not stopping. Just stop. You can hit it right. 89 years old, two fingers, one finger and a thumb. I'm just going to go back smoothly and stop. One finger, one thumb. The rod made the cast. Don't punch the rod. Just come forward, one finger, one thumb. Just slowly go faster and faster and stop. You don't need muscle. As soon as you start putting power into this thing, you ruin the cast. Go with me once, but you hold the rod. I got the line. Stop. 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 Here's what you're doing. Punch. Uh -huh. Punch. Feel it? Yeah. You don't need that. All you need is just go. It's See it? Beautiful. It's not where you stop. This is... A my finger's here. If I take a dart and stop going this way, a dart going that way, and one going this way, all three darts went in different directions. It's the direction in which you stop. If the tip stops going up, the line goes up. I don't care where, where you stop, it's the direction you stop. So if you want that line to go out there, you want the line to go. It's just like a roll cast. If you, if you start here, you're not going to... This is the worst, most books and videos tell you, start here, bend your wrist, raise your elbow, and go like that. You're telling this rod, don't help me much. Throw the line around the biggest circle you possibly can and the rest of it down in the water in front of you. What you really want to do is just take your hand, your elbow straight back. Don't bend the wrist. Stop a smooth stroke going in that direction and there's a roll cast. Now, bend the wrist doing the same thing. You just do line around a curve. <clears throat> so, don't make your roll cast from here. That's going to make your rod go this way. One of the tricks on roll casting is that you don't make the forward cast to your hands in front of your body. Now, you can go straight ahead with the rod tip, and it goes that way. Start back here, the tip's going in an arc and you throw around with no bending of the wrist. The other thing, which I don't have water here to show you, is you don't want any roll cast at any distance 
when you reach out here, if that tip is beyond your rod, surface tension is going to grab the line and you're going to waste energy to get the line up. You can put the line all the way back here and it'll go. You can go back further and even go better. But if you put it out there, you can't make a roll cast because you, all this line is being held by the water. And it's the same thing here. So just, just all you want to do, let me put it out here so we can. It's just smooth. You hold the rod with me. And just, he's anywhere. Now, just easy. All we're going to do is go faster, 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 and stop. See it? Don't come forward and punch it. That's when you screw the cast up. Yeah, don't follow through. Just stop. Yeah, look at that. Now, it works in front. It works in back. Yep. <laughs> well, do it. <laughs> a back cast ain't nothing but a forward cast going out. Yeah. Can you see the difference? I can. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions on any of this? Okay, let's go back inside where it's warm. So double haul is to bend the rod and store energy to let the rod do the job. So you see guys double hauling and they're tearing their underwear and look like a monkey hoeing cabbage, but they ain't getting nowhere. Because you gotta do certain things.